Derek, it's been a privilege to visit Techni Limited here in Shrewsbury. Now, you guys are very well known in the marketplace, but this is a great UK manufacturing story. Could you tell us a little bit about what Techni Limited actually do here? Well, uh, Techni make um, uh, brackets for um, compressor housings. Um, at the moment, or before we worked on this project, it was using SG iron. So it was just mainly uh, face milling and drilling and tapping. So quite run of the mill sort of stuff there. So but we've been working on them over years and then um, we started to work on this project. And, and I, I understand before uh, they're, they're machining the brackets uh, from a complete billet now, uh, but the process before was very much about the castings, wasn't it? Oh yes, before they had to um, basically scan uh, an engine because it's used on commercial vehicles to put compressor housings on for um, refrigeration units. So they get that in, then they'd have to obviously model it up, make the room in there. Then they'd have to send away to have some castings made, um, obviously make the pa uh, patterns made, which could take up to four months. And really, um, that sort of cycle is too, too long for some of the customers, because they need to react a lot quicker. Um, and, that, and that's the interesting thing, isn't it? It's is that, you know, also bringing the complete process in-house, obviously it gives them complete control as well. Oh, it does, yeah, because um, by having control, they can do modifications when they want, they can slightly change it. You know, as we know with CNC processes and CAD systems, if you wanted to move um, a hole, you know, or for any reason, or any part of the, um, the bracket, it can be changed straight away. So it gives you more control, and also you're not in the hands of someone else. If they extend the lead times, you're still you're in their hands, aren't you? But this way, it's full control of the process. Now, you've been working uh, with Sarah Tizit, UK and Ireland for over 20 years. You have a lot of knowledge there. But tell me about the uh, work holding and also the actual tooling that you've actually uh, presented to these guys to make sure that they are machining in one hit. Oh, yeah. Well, um, Alistair, their um, uh, program, a stroke engineer, um, came to me and we was looking at this uh, project. Uh, I'd worked with Alistair before at other companies so we did understand um, how we do support our customers and so we work in partnership with them. So basically we were looking at the billet and how to hit it um, the best way. First of all they were looking at tombstones then we realised it had to be second off. So then we decided to go with our MNG um, system and our ZSG4 vice, a concentric enclosed vice, uh, just gripping on three millimetres, because you can get over 100 newton metres of uh, clamping force within that. On a normal um, screw type, it's, that's because of the ball screw. It gives you that uh, facility there. And also with the CCR cutters, combination, you've got low contact area, high metal removal rate, so you can have it sticking out quite a distance and without um, compromising the process. And, and I suppose uh, the, the benefit you have in the UK now with the technical centre that you actually have, I presume you can start to prove these type of jobs out for any type of uh, engineering companies. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah. We've got our machines in our technical centre in um, Sheffield, um, of which, um, funnily enough, we're doing a very similar process to this, but in steel, which gives you the confidence of um, following it up with the customer and uh, put it into their process. And I suppose when you've got over 100,000 different products and solutions in your catalogue, obviously choosing the right concept, this is a, uh, a fantastic case study of how you've achieved this, isn't it? Oh yes it is, Mark. Um, there's a reason why we've got 100,000 products in there, because it's always horses for courses. You need the right product, you need to apply it right as well. It's no good having the best um, product for the operation, but not applying it right, because um, especially with modern techniques, a trichoidal milling, you know, and the waveform milling, you've got to do it right, because if you don't, you're wasting, you might just have one cutter to do all our milling, and that's not the case with ourselves. Technically Limited are uh, very much uh, scanning, designing, and now they're actually machining complete. And that's the difference with uh, Sarah Tizit UK and Ireland. You guys are technically trained, and obviously you're giving these concepts that are achieving the best results, and that's what makes the difference, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. I've been working for the company uh, group uh, 20 years. Um, obviously, you, you learn a lot about the products. We're in Austria doing uh, product training, 
we were in Sheffield with our new technical centre doing product training. But also you learn a lot from your customers and methods then. But also before I started uh, with um, Servit Is It, um, we, I was a machine shop manager. And that's the, uh, we only take machinists from an engineering background because you can easy, you, you've got to be able to apply the tooling uh, to the operation. And for any engineers that may be uh, watching this video and looking at the, you know, the, the fantastic results that you have achieved here at Techni Limited, what would be your message to them? Well, my message is if you don't uh, deal with us, uh, just get in touch. We've got, um, we're covering all the UK and Ireland. Get your engineer out, have a chat with him, then you'll gain the confidence that, that he has got the skills, he can talk to you directly as an engineer, look for, uh, find a solution and even apply it you doing cutting trials and just to prove uh, the capabilities.